Ramadan is the month of diligence and victories. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, it is he who has made the earth manageable for you, travel its region, eat his provision, and to him you will be resurrected. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The concept, the concept of worship, the concept of worship is a comprehensive one that covers all acts of good that are useful for people and the country. When it comes to work, our purified religion has elevated it as a, to a higher rank. When it comes to work, our pur purified religion has elevated it to a higher rank and even made it one of the doors to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Most High. This is proved by the hadith in which it is stated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said about a young man, who once passed by the companions, Allah be pleased with them, and who admired his vitality. If works to supply provision for his children, then he is in the cause of Allah. If works to supply provision for his children, then he is in the cause of Allah. If he comes out to supply provision for his elderly parent, then he is in the cause of Allah. If he work, if he works to keep his chastity, then he is in the cause of Allah. And if he works to supply provision for his family, then he is in the cause of Allah. He, peace be upon him, also said, if the final hour comes, while you have a shoot of a plant in your hand, and it is possible to plant it before the hour comes, you should plant it. Out of the fact that the blessed month of Ramadan is meant creating closer to Allah the Almighty through offering various acts of worship, including prayer, including prayer, fasting, recitation of the Quran, and giving out a charity, hard working and perfection of work in this blessed month are cardinal, our cardinal importance because Ramadan is a month of hard working and activity, not a month of laziness or unemployment. Since the higher objective of fasting is to attain to, a, to piety, a fact recorded in the glorious Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O oh, you who have believed, decreed upon you is fasting as it was decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous. The rank of perfect piety is not realized when man remains an idol who is accustomed to taking charity from others. On the contrary, it is realized by hard working and keeping from asking people for charity. This actually proved by the fact that even Prophet David, peace be upon him, used to observe fasting frequently. His fasting did not prevent him from perfecting his hard work in the manufacturing of iron objects. Allah the Almighty said, and we taught him the fashioning of a coat of armor to protect you from your enemy in a battle. So will you then be grateful? In the same vein, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, no one has ever eaten better food than what he eats as a result, as a result of the labor of his hands. God's Prophet David used to eat from what he had worked for with his hands. He, peace be upon him, used furthermore to seek refuge in Allah, exalted is he from laziness 
a fact that is recorded in his hadith. He said, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from incapacity, laziness, miserliness, crowdness, old age, the torment of the grave, and the trial of life and death. In light of the fact that the act of, of watching out Allah, in light of the fact that the act of watching out Allah is one of the objectives of fasting, this is make the fasting person fulfill the right of work for work is a kind of trust that should be fulfilled. A fact that is recorded in the Quran, Allah said, O oh, you who believed, O oh, you who have believed, do not betray Allah and the messenger or betray your trust while you know the consequences. Out of the fact that the fasting person does considerable efforts in fasting and prayer and all other acts of worship because he knows that Allah exalted is he, sees him and watches him. He should also take into account that Allah is fully aware of his work and perfection. This is a fact that is recorded in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and O oh Muhammad, you are not engaged in any matter or recite any of the Quran and you people did not do any deed except we are witness over you. When you are involved in it and do not absent from your Lord is any part of an atom weight within the earth or within the heaven or anything smaller than that or greater but that is in a clear register. Since a Muslim is a very keen on having lawful provision and having his supplication answered, he should also realize that if he receives an undeserved wage, it is as he is eating what is unlawful. Whoever thinks Whoever thinks over the Islamic history will realize that Ramadan is the month of victories. For example, the month witnessed the occurrence of the Battle of Badr, where Allah so exalted is he gave succor to his believing slaves over the disbelievers in a decisive battle between righteousness and falsehood. He exalted is he said, and already had Allah given you victory at the Battle of Badr while you were few in number. Then fear Allah. Perhaps you will be grateful. Remember, when you said to the believers, it is not sufficient for you that your Lord should reinforce you with three thousand angels sent down. Yes, if you remain patient and conscious of Allah, and the enemy comes upon you attacking rage, your Lord will enforce you with five thousand angels having marks of distinction. And Allah made it not accept as a sign of good tiding for you and to reassure your hearts thereby. And victory is not accept from Allah, the exalted in might, the wise, also the opening of Mecca and the ninth of Ramadan victory took place in the month of Ramadan, let alone so many days of dignity and victory. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. The ninth of Ramadan witnessed the 6th of October victory, the day when we regained our land and dignity, the day when we regained our land and dignity. The heroes of the Egyptian armed forces, the safety evolved for defending religion, whom an honor managed to make victory in the month of fasting, prayer, Quran, supplication. Beside this month, witness the bravery and sacrifice of the Egyptian soldiers for the sake of his country. 
our brave armed forces are still up till now. Our country's armor and sword may Allah protect the wise leader of Egypt, its honorable people and veteran armed forces, and may he exalted as he makes all its days full of dignity, victory, progress, and advancement. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, protect Egypt and its people from all evil and harm. Thank you.